So we'll just put a little bit more alcohol on the skin surface to get a better image quality. Again, we place the transducer over the lateral side of the biceps femoris muscle. We can see the shadow of the femur. We move caudally with the transducer and we try and center that sciatic nerve right in the middle of our screen. We're going to place the needle. We're using an insulated uh, regional anesthesia needle, uh, which allows us to also assess the um, identity of what we think the target nerve is uh, by using a low electrical current to stimulate the motor component of the nerve. And when we do so, we will see some um, extension and then flexion of the tarsal joint distally. So we'll place that needle first. These are nice blunt needles, which means that they're a little bit tricky to get through the skin. Um, but once you're through the skin, it allows you with that more blunt uh, bevel and the tip of the needle to actually appreciate different tissues as you penetrate. So once the needle is placed uh, adjacent to the target nerve, we see the uh, twitches that are corresponding to the stimulation of the two components of the sciatic nerve. Once we get to that point, it's a matter of just using very fine manipulations on the needle. Um, typically, we try and inject some of the local anesthetic deep to the sciatic nerve first. So on the, uh, below the nerve on the, the image that we're seeing on the ultrasound screen. So we inject just a fraction of, a, of the patient's dose initially at that area. And typically what you'll see is the local anesthetic spreading. Um, so it's a, a hypo or anechoic black um, volume that you can see as it spreads around the nerve, uh, deep to the nerve. Once we get good spread underneath the nerve, we'll usually uh, pull the needle back slightly and try and use the local anesthetic that we're injecting to dissect between the nerve and the um, fascia that lies underneath the biceps femoris. Uh, we don't always get good spread on the, the top of the nerve, so usually we're happy if we get a good spread underneath the nerve as, as best we can. After that, we just scan again with our transducer, just evaluating the extent of that local anesthetic spread, making sure that it looks uh, appropriate to the dose that we've given and that we haven't lost that local anesthetic injection to other areas inadvertently. Typically, the dose we use for this block is point, uh, between 0.05 and 0.1 milliliters per kilogram of our local anesthetic solution. And when we're happy with the uh, spread of the local anesthetic, we're simply going to remove the needle from the patient. And at this point, if we have a good sciatic nerve block, um, the patient should have, um, you know, be a very stable anesthetic as the, uh, the surgery is being performed distal to the point of the block. So typically, stifle surgeries. Uh, tarsal surgeries, digital surgeries, 